Dear viewer, today we will discuss the concept of network analysis with Network X working with the data set. And previous video we discussed the concept of Network X, how we may be able to create the graph. He also discussed the concept of the different type of the graph that are the directed graph, weighted graph, multi graph. And also we also discussed the concept of the adjacency matrix using the Network X. Today we will discuss that how to import data from any CSV file. Let we have a data over here. Data is here. That is uh, ft trust.txt. This one is taken from one data set. So here we are having different type of user are here. First column represents the user form and then user two. We are having the social relationship among the different type of the user. I mean user two is connected with the user nine 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 six six, and we having the trust among the user is zero point four. Next one zero two is connected with the user one zero four, and having the trust zero point three. That is the data set. Similarly, so many other users are available who are connected with each other. So these are one node. The second one is these are also nodes. So connection among the different edge among the different nodes are available. So how we may be able to create that one? So very first step that uh, we have to move to the our uh, Jupyter notebook. So here we have to initially we have to import network x import network x as in x. Next step we have to In next step, we say that we are having the uh, import panda as pd. So, and third step, we say that's uh, import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt. So, this one is used to handle the different type of the shape, size of the shape, size of the figure, or any other things that we can use it over here. So, for this one, initially we have a data set that is stored in the CSV file. So, to import data from the csy csv file or simply we say data read csv file so what we have to do we have to use it over here uh, the pandas library so we say that's a uh, let me say that we have a df is equal to df is one variable that we are we are storing the imported values in a df variable so here we are having the panda library we are using it over here pd pd dot read underscore csv if you want to know about what we have uh, in uh, read csv okay before that one we said that uh, before doing this one we want to use it over here so let me say that in our data set that we already checked it out we are having the column name should be here uh, user from and user two and then we say that's a trust so how we can use it over here so for that one we are using it over here first i'm using this one over here okay so we say that's a i'm using it over here one variable user and here list of the columns we say that's a user form Then user two, and last one we say data trust. So we have the three different columns are there: user from, user two, and trust. Export it. So here we use it over one variable that is our user. Now next up we have to read the CSV file. So how we can read the CSV file? We say that. Uh, we are having data frames df is equal to uh, one variable that we said as a pd dot read underscore csv now we can read csv we have a data over here where is the data uh, tick copy the path of this one use single question marks over here and we use it over here ft underscore trust dot txt and uh, i 
it's good practice to use it over here pause like this one okay uh, now we here when we have a data set we are having data data set is separated by here by the space so separated by for that one we can use it over here scp equal to this one and if we want to know about the column names so for column names i using it over here uh, like names is equal to user okay we should use it over here so names uh, by the way i am using the word user so that's why i am i am continue with that one okay so just this execute it now here we are having the df now if you want to know what we have in our df df dot head so it will display the top five rows of that one it's it as a user from user to and trust so three different columns if you want to know about the different set of element dot df dot uh, user form what are the different elements and if you want to know about the uh, unique and unique so what are the engine how many and unique elements are there so it will say that 596 elements are the unique over here in the user form and similarly if you want to know about the uh, df dot or how many nodes over here that's a user form that is a 596 in user 2 let me check so it said that's a that's 6, 18 different nodes are available unique nodes are available so here we are having the source as well as destination over here so currently we discuss about the different type of the nodes available in the source as well as destination now if we want to display the list of the uh, what we have in the user form so what we can what we can do it over here df dot user form so it displayed over here the list of uh, user forms are here user is at 225 and if you want to display it over as unique then we can also display the unique over here okay now next step we want to create the edge among the uh, different type of the user form to user edge uh, using the uh, user form to user two so create the edge um, so for that one we have to use the network x so using the network x let me say that we are using the graph g equal to we say in x dot that we are using the network x in x dot from Ponders edge list if you want to know what we have in a uh, front ponder at edge list so we can check it out over here in x dot using the question marks we can check it out execute it we will display it over here what we have in this one so it's say that we have uh, uh, over here first one we said it say data frames okay then we are having the source then we have a target then edge attribute then create usings then edge edge key or others out there so we say that we are having our in our graph we see the graph g equal to we are using the index dot from Pandas underscore edge list and here first of all we are having the graph is here g we are having the source is here we have to use it over our source we can use it over our source source equal to we are having the what is the source over here if we check over here the our source is here user from so from to so we are using the where the source user from user from you can directly use it over here user from no need to use it over as user uh, source and target but we are you following the main format so, so source is equal to user form and we have the target equal to we should write a target is we have uh, user two now next step we have the edge attribute so we have what is the edge attribute 
here we have what is should what should be the ajax board we said so whenever we are having the nodes are available for among those nodes like uh, user form 2 and here we are having the trust is there so trust is considered as a edge attribute so we are using it over here trust that should be considered as a edge attribute okay so here we said that we are having the network x in network x we are using the from panda edge list g is uh, okay so from where we are using it over here so, so we are having the panda for panda we are using uh, so data frames that we are using the ds so we should use it over here ds instead of g ds and then we are having the source then target and then attribute execute it now as we are having so many uh, nodes are available like uh, we are having the 596 or the user form and 618 or user 2 so a uh, different type of the edge are available so it's it is a from pond edge list okay spelling mistake is available instead of double s cgs is available so that's why it displays the error message so now here our graph is created if you want to know that what are the different nodes over here so what we, you can use it over at g dot node as we already discussed in the previous video and similarly g dot the edge if you want to display it over here different set of the nodes are there 2 296 and all the other nodes are available similarly if you want to display it over here edge so what we can use it over here g dot It will display the different uh, set of the edge over there 22996, 22104, 192, 15675, 215509, and that's all there. These are the different type of the edge. Now, if you want to know about what is the other information, like how many nodes are there, how many edge are there, uh, similarly, what is the type of the graph, what is the, uh, what is the in degree, and what is the out degree. So, okay. So here, even if uh, we didn't use it over here, uh, like we said, it's a G dot from pandas edge list, DS source, and then target edge attribute. So here we can even use it over here. Uh, another concept that is uh, like if we re execute it over here, NX from panda edge list. So here it said it's uh, uh, now we are normally use it over here, but if we re execute this one, so it will say that we are having the create using. So by using which type of the graph, right? Here we use it over a source, target, edge attribute, and create using. We can use it over there, create using. Like uh, we can use the directory graph. So for directory graph, we can use the die graph. So how can we use it over here? So uh, we create comma. Uh, we say that's a create using. Equal to we see that's the index dot digraph or we can we can create it over here network x using the digraph okay now execute this one now this one is the directory graph is created now if you want to know that what is uh, uh information about the this different this graph g so how we can display the information we see that's index dot info and we are having the graph g so it will display the information about this one graph that what are the different nodes it says that we are having the this one is the digraph type of the graph is digraph number of the nodes is there 815 number of the edge we are having 1329 average in the degree that is 1.63 average in degree and average out degree that is 1.630 now this one will be created over here the different type of the nodes as the edge now we, we see that here we are having the trust is or uh, the weight or uh, the that is uh, the attribute that is associated with the edge so
so how we can use it over here we can use the get to get the edge attribute we can use it over here we are having the different type of the edge attribute as well as node attribute so trust is here using as a edge attribute trust equal to we said it's a index dot get edge attribute get get edge attribute for edge attribute is here we are having the name is here golf and uh, then we are having the attribute name is here trust just execute it if we want to display it over here the trust for how we can display the different type of So it said that's the different node between 2 to 296 that we are having the weight is 0 0.4 2 to 104 we are having the weight is our trust is 0 0.3 it's mean that trust if we are having the trust is one it's mean that is a fully trusted and if we are having the trust is uh, like uh, 0 0.1 0 0.2 so we are having the minimum number of trust and if we are having the zero it's mean that there no these nodes are not trusted with each other okay so now here we use it over here trust that trust is used that get edge attribute so that is due to the weight or uh, the edge attribute that is used for the diff now we are having another node attribute node attribute we are using it over here position we see that uh, position of this one we are having the different type of the position can be there uh, previously we used it over here. we defined the position for the node one node two here we are having so many nodes are there like we are having the uh, uh, two nodes are here 850 nodes are available so to create those 815 nodes assigning the position that is very difficult of so we have the different type of the layout are available that are provided by the network x so we can use it over here the circular layout uh, similarly we can use it over here spring layout so for this one i am using the spring layout Spring layout and for the graph is here G. Just execute this one. Our position will be here in X dot spring layout. We can use it over here. Like I am, uh, although I am not using it here, but we can, we may have the one option for the uh, using the position. Another that is a in X dot circular layout. Similarly, so others are also available, so we can use all of those over here. So when we are having these layouts are available, now after this one we can uh, find uh, the different type of the other values like we can find the degrees or the different nodes. What is the degree of the one node and second node? The nodes are there. So to find the degree, we can use uh, g dot degree. So to creating the layout. It's using it over here. Now, in just it, it is creating the layout. Till the times we can use it over here. Uh, like uh, we can use it over here. Plot dot. Uh, like uh, we can use the. Uh, uh, we can set the figure size as we are having the so many nodes are available. So our figure size should be the little larger as compared to the normal. So we will use out over here the plt dot figure and we set at the figure size figure size we are using it over here like we set at uh, 13 and 13 now I am using the over here the uh, network x dot in x dot now we want to draw the graph over here to visualize the graph in x dot draw network x edge labels
draw network x egg labels so here it says uh, we are having the graph is here g and uh, for that one we are using the position now position is already done position our position we are using the spring layout so we will see that so what is the spring layout so we are having the position equal to position and then we see that so we are what should be the edge labels we see that the so edge level should be that is used for the what we say and the get edge attribute so that is a trust edge attribute is a trust so edge that one should be here now we can use it over at the edge font size font size this one font size is for the edge attribute like we are having the when we are displaying the trust over there so size of the trust text should be let me say that's the 12 font size now next one we said it's a even we can use it over as a font color uh, like we can use font color and other okay. leave it uh, we are using next one the next dot draw and this one we are using the network x we can use simply in extra draw or we can use it over as network draw network x so we said that we are having the graph is here g for position we are using the position then we are using the uh, like we, if you want to display the labels as well with labels equal to we said that the label should be true so it must display the labels over there then we said that's a node color We say that net color should be like uh, red. Then we are having the edge color. We say that edge color should be a green. Then we say that's a node size. We have the node size here like 1200. Uh, then we when we this one is the directed drop so uh, our Arrow size. We should have the arrow size that we see that now. Thirty. Okay, and then we have to display it over here. Plt dot show. Okay, just execute it. Now it will take little time as we are having the. Large number of graphs are there, a large number of edge in, uh, attributes in or uh, sorry, node in having the different type of the edge are there. So it will display the little time over there. So it says that uh, module network says no attribute draw network. Draw network X. Instead of network, use it over a network X. We include it. If we want to display it over here, the what is the degree? So what we in X dot uh, it will it display the figures over here till the time we can write uh, what is the degree. So degree of the graph we can display it over here. What is the degree of this one graph? That uh, how many with how many nodes that it is connected? So we may have the degree as well as out degree. We can find it over here in degree. We can find it over here the out degree. So here we are using index dot draw network x and edge labels. So this one is used to to display the weight of the graph and the weight of the graph is in the form of the trust. So we say that uh, we it will just create the graph, it displays the positions that is for the nodes as well then we will display for the different when we are having different type of the edge are there so it display it over here the weight of those edge attribute and then it display it over here the font size for the edge attribute so similarly we are using the over here the g positions with the labels equal to true with labels equal to true node color edge color node size and array size 
it takes a little time as normally it is not taking time but it, as we are having a uh, lot number of nodes are there that's why it takes some time for creation of the crop or for visualization purposes it takes some time and next we will discuss in next video we will discuss uh, some properties of the graph like those property can be so again i am revising setting the times it execution is done so here we take data read the csv file from our uh, main read dot csv using the upon us dot read csv and we are using this separated by single space name is equal to user then we are using the head and then next we say that we are having the uh, user we find the total number of the unique user then we find the total number of the uh, form and then to all the unique user are there so it's done so here it displayed over the different type of the list of the different nodes are there and they are connected with each other uh, with different nodes it displayed over as a weight as well some node label is there add all of these things have to mix up the reason is that once we are having the lot number of nodes are available that's why i take too much time as well as uh, the nodes are mixed thanks for watching the video